speaking of Josh Heupel, mm-hmm. I, I know it's kind of a, a sensitive subject because mm-hmm. he was the person who replaced you as head coach. I did. I um, did. And I, I apologize for bringing that up in this setting. I, I probably shouldn't have. Sure. I didn't want to touch a nerve or anything there. Um, as a as a very successful football coach yourself, mm-hmm. what impresses you about Coach Heupel? Well, there's a lot of things. Um, he, you know, I, his offensive mind, I, that's what it is. I think that's the biggest thing for me. And and he abides by another philosophy that I also abide by that most people don't know about in coaching, which is whoever scores the most wins. Okay. It's oh, valuable. Whoever that is a really good po- I've never thought about it that way. That's a really wins. good point. So the goal is to score as many points as you can, which we've done, and have the number one scoring offense in the nation. Uh, the best Why offense- anybody else thought of this? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I hope your podcast does well, but I don't want too many people watching this episode because they're going to find out point. some things, some that's secrets of the game. And you know, but it's all right. That's all right. Yeah, whoever scores the most wins. And so, Coach Heupel knows that. He employs that. He knows how to motivate his guys and get them to play. He loves Tennessee. You can see he loves Tennessee. And um, you know, I mean, when's the last time there was a coach that beat Nick Saban and Dabo Sweeney in the same season? That's a great legit. point. Legit. That yeah. is a great point. Yeah. I'm full of great points. 